there. You are watching the English news of Lao Cai Radio and Television. The highlights are coming up next. Border Gate Tourism is expected to be the driving force behind Lao Cai's economic lift in the period 2026 to 2030. By 2030, the province GRDP per capita will reach 260 million dong per year. Muk Pomelo occurred in Thainian communes were severely damaged by flooding. Following other detailed contents, please join us in watching the program. Recently, the 16 Lao Cai Provincial People's Council has passed nine important resolutions, including the solution on the medium-term public investment plan from the state budget for the period 2026 to 2030. Recently, the 16th Lao Cai Provincial People's Council has passed nine important resolutions including the resolution on the medium-term public investment plan from the state budget for the period 2026 to 2030. The projected demand for medium-term public investment capital from the state budget for the period 2026 to 2030 is 26,106 billion dong, a 38% increase compared to the central budget allocated for the period 2021-2025. Laokai Province has identified that, for the central budget, the locality will focus on investing in several key sectors to create a breakthrough in socioeconomic development in the coming period, including tourism, border economic zones, transportation, health, and education. Specifically, the locality focuses on investing in infrastructure connecting Sapa National Tourist Area, investing in building infrastructure of the border economic zone, for resources to repair infrastructure damaged by Typhoon No. 3, Lao Cai has determined to carry out initial repairs in 2024-2025 using provincial budget, central budget support, socialized capital, and other legal sources. As part of the nation's effort to accelerate industrialization and modernization by territory with a vision to 2045, Lao Cai aims to be among the top 10 provinces in terms of per capita GRDP by territory. Lao Cai will concentrate all resources with the determination to strive for an average annual economic growth rate of over 10% in the period 2021 to 2030. The average per capita GRDP at current prices will reach 127 million dong year in 2025 and over 260 million dong year in 2030. Along with that, the average per capita income is expected to reach 72 million dong by 2025 and increase to 145 million dong by 2030. To achieve these big goals, it is necessary to actively promote propaganda to all people develop the province's industry in a modern direction, accelerate the industrialization and modernization of agriculture and rural areas, continue restructuring the service sector on the basis of science, technology, innovation. Information from Lao Cai Electricity. Up to now, 100% of villages in the province have had their electricity restored. Typhoon No. 3 caused severe damage to the Lao Cai Electricity Department, causing widespread power outages. Facing this situation, the Electricity Department urgently mobilized machinery and mobile personnel to the areas to promptly fix the incident and restore power as quickly as possible. By September 25, Lao Cai Electricity had restored power to 100% of the headquarters of communes, towns and villages in the province to ensure the needs of people and serve production. In the coming time, Lao Cai Electricity Company will continue to survey and comprehensively assess the damage caused by the rain and floods to plan repairs and upgrade the power system to ensure stable and safe operation. Typhoon No. 3 caused flooding, damaging more than 180 hectares of crops and fruit trees in Tainian communes Bao Thang District. Among them, Muk Pamelo, one of the localities unique agricultural products is also severely affected with estimated economic losses of billions of dong. 
Typhoon number three has devastated Mrs. Mai Thi Thu's Muk Pomilo orchard, which was nearing harvest. With over 30 trees, the orchard was a significant source of income, generating tens of millions of dong annually. However, this year's crop is likely to be a total loss due to the flooding. Now only about 30% of the fruit remains on the trees. The rest has fallen off and rotted. The remaining fruit is also likely to fall due to the impact of water and soil, resulting in a complete loss. In Tainian commune, 50 hectares of pomilo orchards, primarily muk pomilo, were inundated by the typhoon. In Longjiang village, which has the largest area of muk pomilo, 15 hectares were submerged, causing widespread fruit loss and significant economic damage. If the flooding was brief, it would not be a major issue. However, prolonged flooding and the deposition of silt have rendered the fruit unharvestable. We will care for the surviving trees and replant the dead ones. Some trees have been bearing fruit for over 20 years. Along the Red River in the villages of Muk, Langjang, Bao, pomelo trees, especially the famous Muk pomelo, have brought a considerable income to the people when they are always sold easily, with an economic value of about 150 million dong ha. With the loss of fruit due to flooding, it is estimated that farmers have lost about 7 billion dong in this pomelo crop. Directing people to temporarily overcome the situation by clearing deep flooded areas, combining soil cultivation, root renovation, preparing conditions when the water recedes and the sun comes out to fertilize, and for areas that cannot be repaired, we will reclaim and replant, maintain the brand and maintain the area of the Muk Pomelo Cooperative. Farmers are working hard to save their orchards, hoping to salvage what they can and preserve the traditional pomelo variety for future harvests. As part of its participation in the 2024 National Military Women's Lullabite, Folk Song and Traditional Music Festival, the Laokai Military Command has created a unique performance that showcases enriched cultural heritage of the Northwest ethnic groups. The Lao Kai Military Command's contest program for the festival includes six singing, dancing, and music performances with 45 members. The performances are arranged to combine traditional and modern art based on the materials of lullabies, folk songs, and traditional music of the ethnic groups in the Northwest. Building on our participation in the 2024 Military Zone 2 Lullaby and Folk Song Festival, we have collaborated with the Military Zone 2 Art Troupe, the Military Zone 2 Mass Work Department, and the Provincial Culture and Cinema Center to create this program. It deeply reflects the cultural identity of Lao Cai Province and the ethnic groups of Military Zone 2. Through rehearsals, we have gained a deeper appreciation for the folk songs of our province's ethnic groups. We hope to contribute to preserving and promoting our cultural heritage. With the theme, Lullabies for a Peaceful Homeland, the 2024 National Lullaby, Folk Song, and Traditional Music Festival is a significant event. Participating in this festival is both an honor and a responsibility for the selected officers and female members. The lyrics, which relate to the Northwest's diverse ethnic groups and regions, pose the greatest challenge. However, everyone has worked hard to perfect both the singing and dancing. We are now fully prepared to present our best at the festival. The nationwide festival is scheduled for early October 2024 in Hanoi.
the Lao Cai Military Command's delegation is determined to achieve outstanding results. Ladies and gentlemen, our program is ending. Thank you for your attention.